Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, who look at shows, Death Slay, Search, Peasants, Vassals, Minions. And remember, thankfully, I don't put on commercials on my uh, videos, because then you'd have to wait a minute and a half just to get to my annoying two-second intro. So think about that. So anyway, welcome. I'm a useful idiot, and today I want to talk about Euro banks. And I know uh, a lot of people probably aren't uh, concerned with Euro banks at this point. But uh, it's interesting to see this wave of elections uh, in Europe and seeing these uh, rejections of the Eurozone. And it most certainly looks like there's going to be some changes in the Eurozone by uh, what we see in these uh, European elections. And the European elections are a, a result of what, uh, partially a result of uh, one of the things I'm going to talk about today, and that's the fact that impaired loans, bad loans in the top 100 uh, Eurozone banks grew by 8.1% in 2013. So we continue to hear uh, talks of a recovery, and uh, yet we have uh, bad loans in Eurozone banks uh, escalating. And this is on top of uh, the fact, as I reported uh, uh, several weeks back, that uh, Euro those same Eurozone banks are uh, a trillion dollars short of the reserves they need, uh, loan loss reserves, uh, per new requirements. So they're trillion dollars short there, and uh, now they have a trillion dollars, trillion and a half dollars more. They're uh, short uh, because of bad loans. And, and a third of those 100 banks surveyed by Fitch. So this is a, a reputable source, too. Surveyed by Fitch, uh, Fitch um, a third of those 100 banks experienced a 20% or more loss. So that's even more interesting uh, to find out that the, uh, the, the serious damage uh, is focused in on uh, specific banks and specific sectors who are suffering huge uh, increases in bad loans, uh, 20 percent. And uh, I guarantee a lot of them are still in places like Spain uh, where there is continuing to be a real estate bloodbath. Uh, and so that makes it all the more interesting that we have investors plowing into Euro bank debt uh, and buying these bonds out of Europe now, uh, making huge gains uh, off this uh, this continuing uh, smoldering, decomposing carcass we call the Eurozone. And uh, the bank system is still broke. Uh, so we, we see a lot of the same mechanisms, mechanisms uh, in the Eurozone that we see around the globe and in, in the U.S. as well. Uh, technically, the, the banking system is insolvent and a, and a new subprime uh, boom is going on pretty much in all loan sectors. Uh, so we're seeing housing bubbles once again all over the globe. And um, so this doesn't bode well. The foundation uh, is significantly worse than it was during the last collapse. Uh, now everything, uh, every aspect of uh, what was bad in the last economic collapse is on steroids uh, being set up for the next uh, collapse. And, and credit in Euro zone countries is at three to 500 percent of GDP, and yet we're having uh, continued subprime uh, as uh, bad loans, as I'm reporting now, are, are accelerating in these Eurozone banks. And uh, the, the new ECB Q&E and negative uh, rates uh, could be their future, and we continue to hear that. And, uh, and uh, also the fact, uh, remember, well, we should have another round of stress tests coming up pretty soon, even though all these banks that uh, are short a trillion dollars in loan losses and now are uh, have another a trillion and a half dollars in uh, bad loans, uh, they, they're going to uh, pass the next round of stress tests too. So uh, anyway, the Eurozone uh, uh, banking system continues to implode in spite of not hearing about it in the news. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.